Hello guys, this is the next part of tutorial videos and today we're gonna fix some issues. First, let's open our inventory component and navigate to a function called add item to container. Here it is. So, here change allocation y as a result of uh, dividing x on index. Previously we had a result of dividing dimension y on index and that was incorrect and that was why our short was stored incorrectly and overlapped with another item in inventory. That's all fixed for this function. To fix another function let's open uh, remove item from container function, let's search for it. Oh, not remove item from container, but remove equipped item. Here, add one more sequence pin. And here we are replacing an equipped item with some placeholder. And do it on uh, Zen1 sequence pin. And on Zen0 sequence pin, what we're gonna do? We're gonna add a selection depending on container slot type here. To do it, just type in select, like this. And provide secret pocket slot to secret pocket. Uh, any slots you have, back to back, short to slot, pants to pants. In my case, in your case, they may be different. And for return value call replace action with action and replace the equip with equip and add action open at index zero. That's all for this fix. So now what have we fixed? Now short is stored correctly and if we equip it and equip it then actions are shown correctly also. Also this short cannot be stored here like previously. Now we have one more issue to solve and this issue is as you can see when we're dragging an item here it checks whether an item can be stored in container like can I put this old leather shirt into this old leather shirt and also it checks if it can be stored at this inventory slot so we have two red squares but uh, we don't have two we need to have only one case drawn so to fix it let's navigate to uh, let's navigate to widget blueprint container cell and open on drag over function. Well, the reason why this happens is that when our drag over happens on another item, this boolean flag is dragged over from container cell is not set to false. Well, because this event on drag leaf is not called and it shouldn't be called by the way but unfortunately I didn't find a way how to define if on drag over is still handled uh, like handling of on drag over function has cancelled. So what we're gonna do let's open our widget blueprint container item here and open uh, on drag over. That's main widget for representation of an item in an inventory. Well as soon as drag over begins here, we have to tell our cells that they shouldn't draw uh, they shouldn't draw any squares depending on whether item can be stored at this location inventory or not. So the, the main question is how we're gonna do that and uh, I think that best way is if this container item is equipped item and we're dragging something over some container, we have to change in a drag and drop operation. So we have bp drag drop container item operation. Let's find it and open it. bp drag drop container item and add a boolean parameter. Let's call it should draw position validation 
No, not like this. So let's try to fix it like this. Let's open a widget blueprint container cell and move everything a little bit to the right. And here we're going to add a branch. Well, we're going to check if is drag over is false. So let's get it. Not boolean. Add to branch. And if it is true, then we are doing this logic. In case of false, we're gonna call. We're gonna get this is drag over and set it to. to f In case if it is true, then we're gonna set it to false. Now let's try it. And as you can see, it is blinking, and uh, I don't like how it looks. But well, to fix this issue, let's open our drag and drop container item and add a boolean. Let's call it is dragged over container. By default, it's gonna be false. Save and we can close it. Now let's open our widget blueprint container uh, container item, open event graph and open event on drag leaf. Here we're gonna get an operation, cast it to drag drop container item after setting a brush color. Here we're gonna set is dragged over container to false. Well, let's open on drag over function now here. And here we have a branch. Well, if it is true here, then we're gonna get this container item and call and set this is dragged over container to true. Now let's open our widget blueprint container cell and in function um, in which function we're gonna do it. I think that not on drag over, but on paint. Let's open on paint function from user interface painting section. Here we are casting drag and drop content to drag drop container item. Let's move it a little bit to the right. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna check if it is drag drop over container. And draw a box only if this flag is false. So let's add not boolean. Plug it here and connect true here. Save compile. Well, now it should fix this issue. So dragging works fine. And as soon as I drag it onto container, this square disappears, as you can see. Now it validates whether I can drop a short into a container and not uh, in inventory itself. Well, I think that that's all for this bug fixing tutorial video. And in the next video we will add logic, we will a little bit change our logic so that we will be able to move items from one container to another. So, thanks for watching, hope it will help someone.